a father spoke out about the two children he lost when a Volusia County man killed them and their mother. We still have not been able to find them in order to lay them to rest. Now, as state prosecutors argue for the death penalty for Luis Toledo, we're learning why his lawyers believe he should be allowed to live. And you watched it live right here on Channel 9 last week as Luis Toledo was convicted for the murders of his wife, Jesenia Suarez, and her two children, Talia and Michael. The three disappeared from their Deltona home in 2013, and their bodies have never been found. Channel 9's Jeff Deal was back in the courtroom today for Toledo's sentencing hearing. And Jeff, they're focusing on the murders of the children now. Which is different from the guilt phase of the trial. Much of that was focused on his motivation for killing his wife, Jesenia. He was convicted of second-degree murder for killing her, but he was convicted of first-degree murder for killing the children. And so he faces the death penalty in that case, and that's why so much of the focus is now on the children on this part of the trial. Luis Toledo seemed to be signing something to our camera this morning just as the penalty phase of his trial started. We don't know what it was or who he intended to see it. In the state of Florida, the death penalty is reserved for the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst is exactly what prosecutors say Luis Toledo is. He was convicted Friday of murdering his wife, Jesenia, and her two children, Talia and Michael Otto, inside their Deltona home in 2013. A trusted adult who should have loved and protected these precious babies brutally slaughtered them. Prosecutors revealed his criminal past, bringing in a victim of a home invasion Toledo was involved with in 1999. They later brought in Jesenia's mother and grandmother to the children. I miss you, Talia and Elisha. Life is not the same without you. The children's father talked about his daughter. Talia loved to draw, paint, read, do puzzles, and even pillow fights sometimes. And then his son, Michael. I never got a chance to teach my son how to slam dunk a basketball. Never got a chance to see him hit a home run in the final innings of a baseball game. Defense brought in witnesses to testify about Toledo's suicide attempts, past psychiatric problems, and they said he had an abnormal brain. They begged the jury for mercy, but their pleas didn't seem to match the emotion of when the children's father brought jurors to tears. Talia and Elijah were two beautiful, loving souls with huge hearts. Likely closing statements or closing arguments will be made tomorrow. The jury will get the case on Friday. Their vote does have to be unanimous to recommend the death penalty. Reporting live in St. Augustine, Jeff Deal, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.